My name's Allie, and this is my Unit 2 Reflection presentation over the seven elements of graphic design. First up, I have a line. Line is defined as a point moving in space. Lines are probably the most fundamental of all the elements for almost all artistic creation. The starting point is line. So in this slide, I included a picture of these cubes that were made up of lines. So obviously cubes are made up of lines, but then they also include the hatching, which I thought was a really fine point of introducing line. On this slide, so there are many different types and styles of lines. Some examples are vertical, horizontal, diagonal, curved, width, and texture. For my examples, I included this piece of line art to show you that you can even make art with a single line as well as one with some not as heard of descriptions of lines. My favorite in this example is the psychological and perceived line, or the implied line. Next up is space. Space is a feeling of depth or three dimensions. In this image, positive space is known as the black dots or planets, and the white is going to be the negative space. The so in these images, I really liked how the chair and the mug where the positive was white and the negative was the black surrounding it. And then these mountains in the bottom right hand corner, it shows different dimensions in the sense that space is moving towards and further away from you. Shape is going to be our third element. Space is a feeling of depth, or sorry, shape is a two-dimensional area that is defined in some way. With shape, you have geome geometric and organic shapes. So geometric shapes are what you think of as perfect shapes. Squares, circles, triangles, rectangles, and any other math-related shape you can think of is geometric. Organic shapes, on the other hand, are defined as any shape you could find in nature. Some examples of organic shapes are leaves, fingerprints, clouds, the shape of a pear, and many more. Next up is size and scale. And this goes side by side with shape. Scale is defined as relating to the size, amount of space used, in relation to another object. So in this image, you can see the size or scale of this person and box comparison. Obviously, the box seems much larger than the person based upon size. An example of size is comparing a penny to a golf ball. Or in this pineapple image, you can see how size affects how close we view objects as. In the picture of the city, you are drawn in by the perspective of how tall the buildings are compared to where the viewer is standing. Next up is color. Color is when light strikes an object and is reflected back into the eye. I really love this example of the lamp reflecting the color into the eye. Color consists of hue, chroma, and intensity. Some basic information on color is that the primary colors are known as red, yellow, and blue. These colors are the basis of all other colors. Secondary colors are colors made up of two different primary colors. So the secondary colors are orange, green, and purple. Texture is the surface quality in a work of art. We associate texture with looks and feel. So if something looks like fur, we would likely associate it with being soft and cuddly. Some examples of texture are rough, smooth, shiny, bumpy, and furry. And in this example on the right, it also shows hard, soft, woven, jagged, and rigid. And in this one, I included a drawing of some rope, because I'm like, this texture, you would probably think of it being more coarse and woven. The last element I will be talking about is value. Value is defined as the gradual change of lightness or darkness of a color. Grayscale, shadows, and, ma and making a three 
making art three-dimensional, are some of what this element is known for. In the example of the sphere, you can see it looks 3D based on the different values in the image. This next image is a color wheel from the app Procreate. This will look very similar to the color wheel we viewed on the slides about color. But instead of being a solid color in each segment, you also have the black and white values for each color and make the number of different colors jump exponentially. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it.